Well, we have a parcel behind the green bin. I'm very excited. I've ordered three very exciting parcels and I'm buzzing to, to receive all of them. <laughs> you can't go outside, darling. Parcel behind the bin. I really hope it's something for me. Oh, oh, it's for my brother. Anticlimactic, sorry about that. But we have exciting parcels coming. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I am so excited about this week. I really feel like it's gonna be a good week. I'm feeling really, really good. I came on my period the day that I uploaded the last weekly vlog. My period just like came and I was like, that's why I've been feeling like I was feeling last week. And I feel so much better now. I weighed myself the day after I came on my period and I was four pounds down. So like, I was feeling so bloated. And I know that I wasn't eating the right things. I was eating a lot of chocolate and obviously that's because I was coming on my period, you guys all make sense to me now. Those cravings are gone. I stayed at my friend's last night to watch the football. Let's just take a moment for that. So I've literally just got back home and it's half past three. I had a little square of brownie before I left my friend's house because it was 12 o'clock and I was like, I don't want to eat out because I know that's going to be worse than having a tiny little bit of brownie because I made her brownies. She's engaged. Exciting. Usually I would just grab something because I'm hungry, but like I'm so determined to stick with it this time and to achieve my goals and to really create the life that I want to live and to make my body how I want my body to be. I'm fucking focused. Come on. Yeah, it's half past three, haven't eaten. I broke my fast with a brownie, which isn't good. You're not meant to break a fast on very high sugary foods because your body will automatically start going to the sugar to burn your calories. Whereas if you break your fast with like high fiber or high fat, then your body will think, oh, I'll use the fat then to burn my energy. Yeah, usually I would want to break my fast with, you know, lots of protein, some fats, like a very balanced meal. It's much easier and quicker for your body to bring the sugar because it can convert it to energy a lot quicker. Whereas using the fat and converting that to energy, takes a lot more effort, which is why you drop more weight. I think, I think. Don't quote me on that. Not a nutritionalist, not a scientist. This is just how the logic works in my brain. If I'm wrong, call me out on it. But I'm like 99% sure that I'm right. I'm gonna stop talking now, because I'm so hungry, so hungry. What am I gonna have? Oh, no avocados, that's a shame. Well, first of all, let's... I feel like I've really found the intermittent fasting feeding window that really works for me. Eating between like 12 and 1 and then finishing eating between 8 and 9. It's working really well because outside of my feeding window, I'm just not really that hungry. Um, what do I want to eat for food? Oh yeah. Right, so we've got some chamula spiced halloumi with some bulgur wheat, chickpeas, tomatoes, mint and lemon zest yogurt. This is actually a HelloFresh recipe and it's, oh my god, it's divine. I'm hoping that I look as tired as I feel. It's eight o'clock on Monday. I think I forgot to say it's Monday today. Happy Monday. Hope you had a good Monday. Hope you Brits aren't feeling too saddened by the loss. Yeah, I still think it's a great achievement. It's eight o'clock, so I could go to the gym now, but I've still got loads of work to do that's really, really important. And we're filming all day tomorrow. Therefore, tomorrow I'm not gonna get much time to edit. So I feel like I should use my time today to get this work done. My leg muscles are actually feeling sore today, which is really nice. I haven't had that in a while. I just don't think I've got the time with like all the work that I've got to do. I'm very tired. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Oh my God. I was up until half past six this morning. It was a job I had to do and I got it done. Anyway, we've got a Zoom, so I need to put some in. My protein shakes are here. 
It's the first time I've ever actually ordered a proper protein shake. Oh my god, I hope I like it. It's massive, guys. I got the Impact Whey Isolate in chocolate brownie flavour. 19 grams of protein in each serving. Low fat, low sugar. It's the most recommended one for fat loss. And then I also got the protein pancake mix because I really like pancakes and it's chocolate flavoured so I can have chocolate pancakes. I'm trying to do is like less sugar, more protein. I have some for breakfast now. Gonna have the, not the pancakes, we haven't got time because we've got to go film the salon thing. That video, I spent seven and a half hours working on all night. We just got the feedback for it and they loved it. I'm so happy. That's a win this morning. I've had one hour 59 sleep, but um, I feel like I've had, got more energy than I've had in weeks. I really hope it's nice because it's a lot to get through if it's not nice. In one large scoop, it's 88 calories, 0.3 grams of fat, 1.7 grams of carbohydrate, of which sugar's 0.6, 0.9 grams of fiber, and then 19 grams of protein, and then 0.13 grams of salt. To me, that's pretty decent. I might do 400, I might make it a bit bigger. I should have put the milk in first, that was silly. Peanut cat friend. Are you at home? Hi. You're a queen. Yes. That is nice. I'm not completely blown away, but I think it's because I'm used to the forever one, which is quite sweet. And this literally has no sugar in it. Like that's amazing how they can make it taste like that. And I've just brushed my teeth. So I feel like that might be contributing, but it is nice. I do like it. The more I drink it, the more I'm like, mm. We're at the gym. The past have been known to not come to the gym. I am gonna take it pretty easy. I look like I'm dead. I'm gonna go on the treadmill. I've got my theory driving test tomorrow, which I have not revised for in the slightest. So I'm going to go on the treadmill and do some like interval running, like running and walking, running and walking. And I'm going to do a few tests and like revise while I'm doing that. Yeah, it's like seven o'clock. I've done well, done well today to, to like have a whole day of filming and then go to the gym. It's been a quick day, like it feels like it's gone really quickly, but I'm so tired. I'm gonna go and do it. I'll let you guys know how I get on. I'm probably gonna go to sleep straight away, so I'll chat to you guys in the morning. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more amazing content by me. I've gone delirious. <laughs> hey everyone. Wednesday today. I actually got some sleep last night, which is cool. I had a tarot reading this morning. She said that my nan was there, like talking to her, and my granddad was with my nan. We'd kept his walking stick, um, but it was in the cupboard, and she was like, you need to move the walking stick out of the cupboard, he doesn't like it being in the cupboard. <laughs> So I brought it out and I put it in my room. <laughs> it was just lovely, like, it just kind of affirmed a few things in my head. The first six months of this year have been very much focused on healing, self-care, mental health, and now I feel like the next six months are gonna be on, like, come on dear, like, work hard and get stuff done and get fit and strong. Uh, then I went and did my driving theory test. I passed! Oh. I literally walked out the test centre, looked at the piece of paper and it was like, here is your theory test certificate. And I was like, so I mean, I've passed? And I opened it up and it was like, congratulations! And I was like jumping up and down like, yeah! So happy. Legitimately did not revise at all. I think I probably did about an hour. When I did the, my theory test the first time, I revised like a fuck ton. So I feel like I already knew it. And that was, only, that was only like three years ago. And these things, they stay with you. Feeling really happy and good. And yeah, it's been a good day. Peanuts outside. She is now allowed out. Hey! Can you outside? Look at your garden. Look at beautiful garden. <laughs> I love you. Food has been going well, if you're wondering. It's, uh, yeah, going really good. I had a protein shake this morning and then had that halloumi dinner that I had the other day. Oh, yesterday in the gym, 
I did not do the treadmill. I just swam. But I swam for 40 lengths. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was fun. Like, I just swam and swam and swam and swam. And it felt really good. Swimming's really good for like targeting fat loss it's a lot better than running i think for my workout routine i'm going to be incorporating one day of just swimming it's a really good cardio workout that actually targets fat loss instead of just losing muscle and fat at the same time so i'm thinking swim day lower body upper body abs and then if i want to go an extra day then i will if you're putting off doing something just do it get it done i've been putting off my theory test for so long like putting off driving for so long and you just need to get out and do it like if you're putting off doing something and you are making excuses and you really really want to do it like just do it i know that sounds really simple but it took me ages to think like that i've just realized you guys that i haven't had my microphone plugged in for like most of this vlog <laughs> So I'm sorry about that inconsistency. It's so sad as well because the sound of the microphone is so crisp and clear. Like, I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that this week. Next week, I'm gonna make sure it's plugged in properly. <laughs> oh God, what a knob. Good morning, everyone. Thursday, didn't speak too much yesterday. I actually went on a date yesterday evening and that was really nice. <laughs> So many exciting things have happened since I've last spoken to you. I went on a date yesterday. I booked in my next tattoo. And it's like a really, really, really special one. So I'm, I'm buzzing about that. It's like with an artist that I've been following for ages that I just love her style so much. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's gonna be going like here. I do need to work on these flabby arms in my my personal experience tattoos don't really change if you lose weight i've only got one that i've had since i was bigger but it's on my leg on my thigh so obviously my thigh has changed quite a lot since then and the only thing i would say is that it's slightly off center but that doesn't bother me and i think that when my legs start to kind of go really like that then it will kind of balance it out anyway so yeah i'm not overly bothered about putting it on a fleshy bit and to be honest like this is all skin so like I'm gonna get rid of it but I don't think that it's gonna kind of change that much very excited about that um what else has happened I thought I had more exciting things to tell you yeah I don't know I'll have to tell you later I'm gonna be making pancakes for breakfast they are these protein pancake mix from my protein for 50 grams it's 184 calories which is quite a lot but it's got 31 grams of protein and then only 1.2 grams of fat and then 7.6 grams of carbohydrate which i think is quite low it's not as low as the protein shake but this is like my favorite granola at the moment and this has 29.5 grams of carbohydrate. I do love granola and I think that it's a good way to get that energy fuel but I'm really trying to cut down on the carbohydrates especially like high sugar so yeah and it's going really well. That's what I had to tell you I remember now. I weighed in this morning. I haven't been weighing that regularly as you guys know but I thought that I would weigh. I feel like my tummy has kind of gone like, I'm not bloated anymore. I just felt really good this morning, so I thought I'd weigh. And I'm back down to 169 pounds. Like, point, I think it was point 0.4 or something. I've lost, like, six pounds in the last week. I think that, like, three or four pounds of that is periods. I don't want to stand here and tell you that you need to intermittent fast to lose weight because I'm 100% supportive of whatever's working for you and what you're going to enjoy. I genuinely have never found something that works for my body so well as intermittent fasting. So I, I would just kind of say, give it a go if you haven't already. Usually I'll be eating like all the time and I genuinely don't get like ravenous. I don't feel like it's a chore to kind of not eat before 12 o'clock. And what I've been doing is having quite a substantial breakfast 
between 12 and 1 and then I will have like my main meal at about 4 o'clock and then after that if I get a bit peckish I might like have some toast or something. When I go to bed I feel like my body has had time to process that food and it's not kind of like sitting. By the time I get my tattoo I'd really like to be around the 11 stone 7.5 so 160 pounds. I hope you guys are doing well on your weight loss journeys. I'd love to hear like how you guys are doing. Anyway, we're gonna make some pancakes. I'm quite hungry now. Right then, you got your protein powder. <laughs> Days like these last With one another With the feeling pass Would you find out with me If it all starts were absolutely delicious. They had the texture of a proper pancake. If you were to make like a proper pancake mix, instead of it being quite dry, when I do it with oats, it's quite dry. But this actually tasted like a pancake. They were really sweet and considering how much sugar there isn't in it, really yummy. Like 100% would recommend. Go and buy them now. They do different flavours as well. I got my nails done. I hope you like them. So yeah, that was fun. I haven't done much work today. Um, but I just wanted, we're just about to go to the gym. I'm gonna do abs today. I've never done abs in the gym before because I just feel like this part down here needs to be sorted out. I got my glossy box through today so I just wanted to open it with you guys. I always get so excited when this comes. The July one is so cute, it's like a little treasure box. Ah, oh, and they always put in little vouchers. The first time I ever tried HelloFresh was through one of these vouchers and now you guys know that I love HelloFresh. It's always presented so nicely as well. Shower steamer. <gasps> That is sick. I can like make a steam room in my shower. Cheek and lip tint, love it. Ooh, there's food. Oh my God, what is this? Ooh, oh, I like that packaging. It's quite matte. Aura, body fragrance mist. <gasps> Fancy. Oh my God. <gasps> wow, that's massive. Oh, let's have a look at this highlighter then. Oh, I love a good highlighter. I want to look radiant to go to the gym. I'm gonna smell amazing. I'm gonna have me, me glow on, natural as well as fake, because you know, sweaty in the gym, mate. Oh, I love that. I think my favorite one is this, though. I'm gonna have a steam room at home. Like, that is so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Anyway, I gotta go to the gym. My mum's shouting at me. Catch you guys later. Hi guys, I'm here to round off the vlog. Sorry I didn't really film after Thursday. I've had a really, really good week and I've just been super busy, like working and I've got a really exciting weekend planned, but I'm really busy so I'm gonna round the vlog off here. Really hope you've enjoyed this week. It's been a really really good week I hope that it's given you some motivation to sort your shit out if you haven't already I hope that it's made you happy I hope that it's given you those feel good feelings because I've definitely been getting those feel good feelings this week it's it's been a really positive vlog that I think we all needed so yeah I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I'll catch you all next week I just want to quickly show you guys these shorts that I got because I struggle with shorts for the gym because I don't don't really want to like chafe while I'm doing stuff so these have got like an underlying kind of thing and um, yeah they're from M&S very nice so yeah love you guys loads thank you for all your support and I'll see you next week